Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video called Almost Party with Lil Yachty, and it's by Young Don, the sauce guy. So I'm going to leave a link to the original video in the description below, so if you guys want to check it out for yourselves, you can go ahead and do that. Don't forget to subscribe to Young Don, the sauce guy. That man is a talented artist slash animator, so you know, go check that boy out, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get into his reaction. I was like, yeah, I'm taking this, <laughs> so get to the bathroom and I'm doing Hold it. Hold on, I, I gotta pause that for a second. My oh boy added the little, uh, you know, the coin sound effect from uh, Super Mario Bros. Man, I love that game, bro. All right, anyway, hold on, back to the video. I'm not trying to pause it too much. And then in the middle of relieving myself, I hear... I'm sorry, I gotta pause it again, bro. I don't know about y'all, but this is one of the best feelings in the world. When you've been holding it in, you have to use the bathroom for like a whole, maybe like the whole day. You've been holding it in, you gotta use the bathroom. You finally get to go to the bathroom, you just let it all out. You be like, it's like, it's like you, it's like you just did a drug or something. Wait, I don't do drugs though. You know what I'm saying? 2018, we don't do drugs out here. 2017, I didn't do drugs either. But that's that's not the end of the when you when you take a piss, bro. Your body be feeling great, like you just you just lifted a huge burden off your shoulders, like your shoulders free. You get out here moving like burning, You know what I'm saying? Just moving free. But anyway, back to the video. I'm getting sidetracked. Sauce. <laughs> Ready to ask for sauce. This story happened about a week ago. I was chilling in my room when one of my boys, Wyatt, burst into my room and is like, Don, Ian Connor is throwing a party in Houston. Hold up, my boy. First of all, we gotta pause the video. This man got this man got a high top with one dreadlock. I know y'all y'all see that, right? He got a one dreadlock with the bead. My boy, what is he doing? That whole hairstyle. There's something about you we don't know about. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I've been watching too many So Illuminati videos. I don't, I don't know why I just said that. Wrong YouTube channel. Anywho, back to the video. We have to go. So I'm like, all right, who, who's Ian Connor? Why it's like, <laughs> you're joking. You don't know who Ian Connor is? Don, 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 this is the dude who discovered Playboy Cardi, okay? Yeah, look at the veins in his eyes. Look at right. just bulging out. You don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I live with two of my boys who are aspiring rappers. Super talented dude. They make up a duo that goes by the name of 340 Or. The outro song for this video is actually one of my favorites. I got I got a problem. That thing, that thing kind of slap it a little bit. Look, I might have to I might have to click the link later and check that out. That, that thing kind of slap it just a little bit. Songs by them. So of course, like any other aspiring artist, they're trying to blow up. And apparently, mm -hmm. this Ian Connor guy could possibly help them get one step closer to that if they got a chance to show him their music. Also, it turns out mm -hmm. that Lil Yachty and Ugly God, two pretty popular rappers, were going to be there as well. So anything could happen. Needless to say, we all get fresh, hop in the whip, and drive three hours to Houston for this party. Pause. I ain't never, ever driving three hours to go. No party. Three hours to an event. If I'm driving three hours somewhere, either A, I'm going on a vacation, B, I'm getting money, or C, <laughs> I'm getting money. There's no way I'm driving three hours to a place just to go to a party. And it's not even guaranteed that they finna get, like, plugged up. This is a huge risk. This, I don't know, bro. I, I might have to tell my homies. I might have to, I might have to uh, drive solo on this one. I might have to do this without me. And then when when y'all get back, I'm gonna just ask you how how that work out for you, cause that's a lot of gas. I'm, I'm just saying, three hours? Oh my gosh! It's trying to make me shed tears out here, tripping, tripping, dog. So we roll up and oh my, it was indeed a party. The venue was a four-story luxury apartment. We get inside and it was packed. The music is blasting, people are dancing, and realistically, there must have been at least three or four hundred people in the building. Whoa, with the way how everyone was just crammed together on the second floor where the main party was, you could have told me that there were 24,568 people there, and I would have been like, yeah, sounds about right. Now, that sounds love very love specific. Bars, okay? I love mosh pits, I love the energy, and most of all, Can't I love to dance. Your boy knows how to turn up. But only if I can get in and out whenever I feel like. You feel me? Usually at most popping parties, there's like a dance floor section where everyone's jumping around, having fun, going crazy to the music, right? There's that part. And then there's like a chill space where you got room to breathe. It's away from the speakers. You can actually have a conversation with someone. This is a necessary... My, my boy wasn't having no conversation. He out here staying gay. You already, you already know what's going on. He said, <laughs> conversation. <laughs> 
My boy Don. I see I see why you got the sauce. We both know what you finna do after this party. You want you, you ain't drive three hours over here for nothing. <laughs> As show Sammy once said, <laughs> I ain't come over here for nothing. Girl, you know we is <laughs> I ain't trying to, ain't trying to get uh, flagged by YouTube, so you are you, you know what I'm talking about though. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, back back to the video. Balance for any good party. That way, when you get tired of moshing and grinding on all the other sweaty, smelly people, you can't. Can exit the That's the worst part about parties. Section, refresh and recover. Maybe have a Capri. Capri Sun. Hey, bro, we we don't drink Capri Sun over here. I'm mean, on occasion we might. We drink a Sprite. You know what I'm saying? Sprite. Sun and breathe some fresh air before returning to the dance floor. Well, at this party, this was not the case. It was just an infinite sea of sweaty bodies mushed together, jumping up and down. It smelled like armpits, mm. suns, and mm. see, that's the thing. Were you were you too good of an artist? Oh my goodness, that that just was way too descriptive. I ain't have to see all of that man's armpits like that. I, I ain't need to see that. Yikes. So as soon as I realized this, I was like, okay, we're not staying here. I grab my boys and we venture on upstairs. We get to the top of the dip. A much different energy. The people were calm. There was a lot of Capri Suns being sipped and inhalers being puffed if you catch my drill. All right, the Capri Sun seems kind of lit right now. And wait for the celebrities to show up. And of mm. course, being a comedian, I instantly go into observation mode. I'm always on the lookout for some <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I made his eyes like that. <laughs> oh, no. The first person that really caught my attention was this dude who was sitting a few feet away from me. This is exactly how it happened. I was looking down at my phone, going through my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Bro, I be doing the same thing. I be, I get distracted looking at my phone. Tripping, tripping. Um, I'm sorry. Pause? Oh. No comment. <laughs> wow. Tripping, bro. Just tripping. Okay. Yeah, that makes this is so accurate. Boy! Tripping. Trifling. Yikes. Nah, B.A. There's some some about that dude, though. There's something about that dude. Ooh. Mm, he on that low Uzi Vert flow. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, dog, you wildin'. You wildin'. Oh, man. That's funny. I ain't gonna lie. Like, chokers... Okay, so check this out. If a girl wearing a choker, you already know... Theoretically, <laughs> you know what she's doing. But... Let's be untheoretical for a second. Them regular choker necklaces, they're cool like the little knife. But the ones that look like dog buckles or dog collars or they look like belts. It's no good, coach. Just get them out of here, bro. If, if a girl wearing a choker like that, can't talk to you. If a guy wearing a choker like that, I don't think we can be homies. I don't think we can relate on anything. That's just, if that's what you like to do, that's cool. But I, I just can't get with it to keep it a thousand. I think it looks 10x worse when the dude got all his neck fat trying to burst out of the choker. Mm, that dude look kind of nasty. I ain't gonna hold you. He looks exactly what you think a grown man wearing a choker while yelling at his girlfriend about his dissatisfaction with her refusal to suck his crusty ass toes in the middle of a... My boy, I don't, I don't think he's looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> that dude not looking for a girlfriend. I'm what does it say? Wow. Chaffin. <laughs> Oh man. I don't even know where to begin to explain this group. Like I've never seen people like this in action. <laughs> Have you ever seen so that's it like that? On a and they're wearing just the most bizarre clothing. Like the kind of clothes that make you ask yourself, who's wearing these clothes? Like who's buying this weird? I, f I know exactly what you're talking Some of these outfits, one time I seen like, literally, I kid you not. Uh, I forgot what modeling runway it was, but they were literally wearing trash bags. I, I can't make this stuff up. They were trying to make it look, quote unquote, artistic. I was just like, nah, bro, you're, you're wearing a trash bag. <laughs> That's not fashion. Some of these fashion designers, they got to get the boot. They just got to go, son. Wilding out. I've never seen this kind of clothing for sale anywhere. 
this entire group of people was dressed like that. I'm like, yo, is there about to be a point in that my G? Why did you look like a guy got a beat to get my eighth gym badge? Which yo, Pikachu, I choose you. Looking at so they post up and instantly you get the boy. We're trying to so nah. be cool vibe from them. Like Yikes. And started smoking, but they if you smoking cigarettes, it's 2018. If you smoking cigarettes, you trying to get cancer. That's all you want to hear. You're basically saying, "Hey, bro, just hey, hey, guys, I'm tired of living, but I don't want to commit suicide though. I, I want a slow death. You know what I'm saying? Let me just get that. Let me get that slow cancer real quick. Let me let me get cancer for 500. Let me, let me get you tripping. Stop smoking cigarettes. It's just not for you. Stop it. You're not smart. You trying to die. You trying to die slow. Come on, bro." Relax. If you smoke weed, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Hey, with 12 around, you don't smoke weed. But I'm just saying, like, if you smoke weed, that's, that's way better than smoking cigarettes. You can't get cancer for smoking weed. Smoke cigarettes, you can get cancer. I'm just saying. Last time I checked, cancer is expensive to take care of. Just put it out there. Just saying. Did it like they thought it was cool? On that note, do people still think that smoking is cool? Like that's what I'm saying, bro. That's so lame. I get that people smoke, and personally, I don't, I don't care. Sure, it's terrible for your health, but it's your body. You no know. bueno. Do people still smoke just because they think it makes them look cool? Because it doesn't. It really doesn't. But looking at nope. these kids, you could tell that they thought they were being cool. They had that stuck up, I'm better than you look on their face. I can't stand people they like that. You're like, big. Oh, boy. Nah. Don, Don, you smart, you smart. Going on downstairs, so I'm like, finally, that must be the celebrities. Nope, it was the cops. The cops showed up. Apparently, there was some dude outside. Why, why you use that sound effect like that? Oh, that didn't have me jumping back like that. Have me, uh. yo, you got to cool it with these sound effects, my G. Almost gave, startled me a little bit. Over oh, similar, them, them, them dudes. They were, they was high off. They was high, bro. I'm telling you, they were, they was off of something. <laughs> His eyes are animated so big, bro. Oh no. <laughs> bro, can you imagine? You spent the girls getting to the party for free. You, all, you would do. You probably spent like ten to twenty dollars just to get in. And then the party get canceled. You only been to party for like an hour. That's why I don't go to parties, bro. It's not even worth it, bro. I'm just gonna be cool in the house, turned up by myself, being the loser. Wait, I spot a bathroom. Now I needed to use the bathroom from the moment I got to the party, but the place was so packed, I never thought I would actually be able to get access to it. So oh no, they bugging. I'm taking this leak. So I get to the bathroom and I'm doing my thing. And then in the middle of the Oh yeah, this is where the video started. Okay, okay. Get out of the bathroom right now. I'm like, okay, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, if you a guy, you understand what that's about. <laughs> you gotta shake through time. Can you imagine, bro? You you trying to take a piss, bro, and the cops just at your at your back. They're like, "Hey, bro, you are gonna have to get out. You you're not even done, bro. Like, can I get the peace of mind to finish taking the piss? That's wild. Let's go ahead and see how this this turn out. <laughs> this animation is on point, bro. That's the. That is very dirty. Oh yeah, that gotta wear the option. You know what I'm saying? I I'd rather like not wash my hands than go to jail. I'm like I can't fake going to jail. <laughs> Yo, he got he getting the money back for that three hour drive. Three hours worth of gas. Wow. Oh who? I would be so sick. Little boat. <laughs> ah, I did it before you did it. <laughs> I beat you to it. Sick boy. <laughs> Dang, you saw them outside the door. Just so 
happens to be the case that I started a vlog. Hey. You want to see firsthand what the journey to becoming one of the most famous YouTubers and rap groups in the world looks like? This vlog is for you. Watch the rise of Young Don the Sauce God in 340 as we take. All right, all right. Uh, that's going to be enough for uh, this video right here. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, man, this man, Young Don, his animation was on point. My favorite part was like uh, when he made the eyes get big. That jam is funny, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. But yeah, I, I remember I started watching his videos back when he had like uh, 42,000 subscribers. His channel is growing really quickly. So uh, shout out Young Don the Sauce Guy. Uh, if you guys want to watch the full video by yourselves, just go ahead, click the link in the description. I'll even pin it in the comment section too. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Uh, this is my first reaction video, so uh, tell me how I did. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.